Hello oh, YouTube, Chris here. In front of me here is the latest model of the T-Class X98 Air 3G. Now it's identical to the other models, but what is different about this one is they're now shipping with Windows 10. So if you have a look at the sticker on the front, you can see now it's saying Windows 10 here, but it still has Android 4.4.4 for some reason. They still haven't put Lollipop on there. But you can flash Android 5 over. There's um, ROMs that are on techtablets.com. You can flash that over and still keep Windows on there intact and not actually risk losing it. Um, other differences about the, the actual tablet, well, the, it's still a C5J6. They haven't changed that. And I noticed that this model in particular I have, so you have the factory Windows 10 image. I noticed it's got quite a fast eMMC drive. Like, have a look at these speeds here. They are really, really good for a eMMC 4.1 spec. This is pretty good, 4.5.1, sorry, spec. That's not bad at all. Now, this is a Toshiba drive. And I'll just go into the device manager here. I can. And just quickly show you that it's which um, type of Toshiba it is here. So it's a, it's a Toshiba. 064GE2 and it's quite a fast drive. So you have look at those 4K speeds as well there. They're quite quite fast. Let's get rid of that there. And you can see that it's Windows 10 Home is what it's called. And it came actually in English already. But I bought this one here from Banggood. Now I got this for 185 US with their special, and I thought that was a pretty good price. So I bought a couple of them because now and then I do actually resell tablets uh, so I can help fund buying new tablets to review for the channel, for the website as well, so that's why I do that. But I just noticed that now they're starting, I actually bought this as a Windows 8.1 tablet, is what they said on the listing, so it's a bit of a bonus here that I got the Windows 10 uh, factory image already installed on there, so that's good, so people can actually go along there and do the uh, full reset on the factory image here, and it will completely reinstall it. Now, if you're upgrading from Windows 8.1, I don't think you can do that. It just doesn't um, actually change the recovery image there, but at least on this model, the recovery image is going to be Windows 10, so that's good. And I'm quite impressed there. At least they're not using, at least, well, these ones here, they're not the horrible B1 drives. Okay, so that's just a quick look there. Thank you for watching the video, and hopefully I'll see you in my next videos.